What is an API? That is the question. Check this out. Today we are going to use our amazing people right here to explain exactly what is an API. So let's think about this. We got this guy right here, okay? This is the website, okay? This is the website where you see. So if I am the user and I go ahead and I go to this website, which is this guy right here, handsome guy by the way, right? So what, what I like to do is, let's say I need to go ahead and I'm like, hey bro, I would like to order, I would like to order some food, okay? Right, I like to order some food. So this, he's the website. So what, what happens here is he is the front end and this is what I see and he says, okay, tell me what menu, what, what is on the menu? What is on the menu? What, no, tell me what is oh, on God. the menu? <laughs> <laughs> we got pizza, we got hamburgers, we got hot dogs. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, listen, so here's what I would like, here's what I would like. I'm the user, okay? What I, what I would like is I would like to order some pizza, okay? So you write this down, write this down. Now check this out, okay? Listen closely, listen closely. I got this other guy right here. Right here, okay, like this other guy. This guy is the server, okay? This guy is actually the API. We call it the backend, okay? So what happens here now at this point is this is where he now, he is the chef. This guy is a chef. He's going to make the food that I just ordered as the user, right? So if you think about it, yeah, keep making the food, keep making the food, yeah, choo -choo -choo, come on, you know, come on, do your stuff, right? So at this point, he's making the food, but he's not making the food just yet. What needs to happen at this point, check this out website server api all right there's some kind of middle layer that needs to happen or connect communication between the two of them needs to happen in order in order for this for this to actually work so the question becomes what is that connection well the connection is actually something called an api request if you think about an api request, API request it's simply just when a website literally calls out to the api and asks hey i would like this resource in this case here's what i would like to do i would like you to yell out hey i need a pizza hey i need a pizza great so here's what you do you just heard that you need a pizza okay what are you gonna do at this point pizza got it okay beautiful he's making the pizza he's you now he's doing this thing you know come on look let's go he's doing this thing good 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 he's doing this thing one minute in okay he made the pizza okay what do you do now you give the pizza back to the to, the, to him now right pizza yeah, so throw it. Nice, there you go. Now you cut the pizza. Now I'm the user, I just asked for the pizza. What do you do now? Here's your pizza. Thank you, I eat the pizza and now I got the pizza. So you see, this whole process, my friends, is called the full stack development. He is an API. He right here is the front end, the website, okay? And they, and they go ahead and talk to each other to make everything in the World Wide Web work. But it's a very important rule, this guy, is one of the most important people that you don't see. He's one of the most important things. This is what happens on the back end. So whenever, for example, let me give an example. Let's say you log, log into Facebook, okay? You log in, you put in your personal information, your username and password, then it provides to you what? It provides to you all your information about your photos, your newsfeed. Well, think about it like this way. Where do you get all of that information? Where is that being stored? Well, that is being stored on something that you don't know. It's being stored on the back end, right? The logic right here, right? This is the back end. He has all the information about you, the photos, okay? All the logic needs to happen in terms of like, how do, you, how do I log you in, right? He will log you in. He will know what is the username and password that you provided and what person you actually are. So that is the API. So my friends, just think about it this way. Very simple API right here website front and right here they both talk together to make everything work and that is an api hopefully you understood that i'll see you guys later